In the entirety of our college life, we will come across so many teachers. Some we will hate and some we will adore. And although there's a long list of professors that will help shape our college experience, there are specific teachers that will definitely leave an indelible mark. Join me as we meet the faculty and explore the different types of teachers. I am Jomi Hospital and this is College Be Like. Different types of teachers have different methods of passing on their knowledge, but teachers could be classified into many classes. Our first type, the lazy ass. Honestly, this one stopped being a teacher a long time ago. This is simply the type of teacher who doesn't teach you anything. Okay guys, as we are approaching the topic of limbic resonance, I want you to read chapters 5, 6, 7, and 8. And after you're done reading, be sure to ask each other questions and answer it yourself. Do not ask me, okay? See you in two weeks. Class dismissed. Additionally, this teacher gives tests on stuff that you didn't learn in class, which is somewhat like the second type, the 20th century teacher. This teacher is ancient. She was an excellent teacher about a couple decades ago, but now she's forgetful, lazy, and confused. So she can often lose your papers or forget to tell you about the upcoming quiz happening in the next class. Okay class, get a piece of paper. We'll have a quiz. What? But you said a quiz till next week. Did I? I didn't. Now number one. And there are times with this teacher that the class gets super boring and monotonous. It's like having the same thing at lunch the whole week. But thankfully, we also have the super cool teacher. These are the teachers who stay on top with what the young kids are doing. In terms of clothing, music, pop culture references, all of it. They even hashtag quiz grades and create Kardashian analogies to explain the complex reproductive system, treating their teaching career as a second chance to be THE cool kid in school. For you to understand the reproductive system, it's like Kris Jenner, Robert Kardashian, a little bit of Jujuba, and voila! We have Courtney, Kim, and Chloe. Hashtag go for it and multiply. See what I mean? Then we have Miss Minchin. This teacher exists primarily to make your life as miserable as possible. And you would never ever see them smiling even at the funniest of jokes. If I see anyone of you texting in this class, I promise I will never stop until all of your existing ancestry is either dead or bullied. Now I don't know which one is worse, but if I get to bully you, I swear you would ask your goddamn false gods who are rather dead instead. Copy that? Yes, mom. It looks like they have an egg transplant and their donor is Lord Voldemort. Pretty scary, huh? Teacher number 5, the Dear Charo a la MMK teacher. They are the ones who talk about the lesson for 3 minutes and then talks about her life for the rest of the period. They always have a story to go along with every lesson they are teaching and they go on constant tangents, talking about how she got to marry her own husband to sharing her daughter's recent graduation. The American Revolutionary War ended when the representatives of King George III of Great Britain and the representatives of the United States of America signed the Treaty of Paris. Oh, Paris. There was a time when Paris was not just a city to me. It's where I met the love of my life. Paris. Truly the city of love. Obviously, this teacher has way more important things to share than lesson plans. And then we have a teacher who gets pregnant in the middle of the year then leaves, which gives birth not only to a child but to another type of teacher. The substitute. The substitute is a teacher who literally uses all of the subject's time to let us watch videos. This teacher believed that students learn best when watching movies. Since your last topic with Mrs. Preg is about Philippine history, today we will watch a documentation on how Mel Marcus acquired 15 mink coats, 508 gowns, 1,000 handbags, and 1,060 pairs of shoes in total. Then after that, we will watch movies about martial law. To start with, we will watch The Gala Setenta, then the classic film Himala, and then Avengers. Age of Ultron. Yay! Sounds like a win either way. And who would ever forget the Filipino time teacher, which pretty much gives you the impression that he won't be coming to class, but shows up the moment you start celebrating. OMG, it's 15 minutes already and the professor's not here!
The Filipino time teachers rarely punctual, but of course insist on better from their students. How about you come early for a change before you expect us to be better? Next on the list, the teacher of surprise. This teacher looks at you when you have your hand raised, then ignores you or calls on someone else instead. And to make things worse, because you know you ain't gonna get picked, you've basically put your hand down only for them to call you just because they think that you don't know the answer. Isn't it ironic? Plus, they have always a way of surprising us a lot. So that's basically the definition of physics. We're finally done with chapter 1. Prepare for a quiz on Friday. Don't worry, it's gonna be really easy. Have a good day. For today's quiz, propose a new framework of space and time by deriving a new concept from Einstein's theory of general relativity. Wait a minute, miss. Did we discuss it in class or something? Because I'm pretty sure I've heard it for the first time. And lastly, the clueless teacher. You know you can get away with anything with this teacher, for this one does not actually know what he is doing yet. This teacher never had any idea what is going on. We may have a lot of definition in what a teacher is, but a real teacher is the one who dares to expand beyond his teachings. Someone who shows you the way and let you walk it your own way. A teacher who doesn't just teach you how to lead, but to follow. And I've had enough experience to tell that the best teacher there is, is the one who brings out the best in his students. Hope you can relate to this week's episode of College Be Like, and if there's a type of teacher that I missed, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, and most importantly, share so that others can see this too. Don't be selfish, share. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Jomi Aspa saying, Mahal ko kayo. God bless you!